Hi, welcome in Tylook. Today I would like to show you how we can design a bathtub in concrete and then cover it with tiles or mosaic and fill it with water. So let's work in our first function tab, create room. Here I have my room, plans and 3D preview on the right side. Now let's create a bathtub in concrete. We click on the floor here on the right side and uh, use this function add 3D surface. Here we can modify the sizes of our 3D surfaces but uh, we can modify the sizes also later in any moment on our project. So we click apply. As you can see from the 3D preview we have imported uh, a 3D cubus, a 3D element that will be our bathtub. Now let's move and modify this 3D element. We click on the 3D element and select it by a rectangle. Now the external points are green so it means we can move our 3D object into our room. We click on a green corner and then we can move it. Let's hang the 3D object to the left upper corner of my room. Now we can modify the sizes of our 3D object as we want to create a bathtub in concrete. Let's say that our bathtub will be 2 meter wide by 1 meter deep. So let's click on an arrow and drag it. One meter and then we want it to make 2 meters wide. Okay. 2 meters by 1 meter. This will be the size of our bathtub. Now we are adjust the height of our bathtub. Let's click on the red button here on the middle. We open a menu and select elevation. Our 3D element is actually 50 cm high. We want it to be 80 cm like a bathtub. Apply and we have modified the height of our 3D elements. You always has a, have a preview on the right side. You see? Now let's produce the basin into our bathtub. We select the upper floor of our bathtub, the upper side select the frame and use this function add 3D border. Let's click on it. We want to create a basin. It means we want to empty this middle part. So we use we write here minus 70. This will be the depth of our bathtub. 10 cm is the depth, the thickness of the frame of my bathtub. We can change it or we can leave 10 cm. Okay. Depth of bathtub and thickness of the frame. Apply and we have created our basin. You see? Now our bathtub in concrete is ready. We can start covering it. Let's move to layout tiles. Let's select a tile or a mosaic for covering our bathtub. We can download the tile from Tilook, where we have find more than 450,000 products, tiles, covering mosaics available. Let's select one of these. For example, here in my wish list, I have some mosaic, like this one. Download. And we directly import 
the mosaic into our project. Now we can start covering our bathtub. Let's select all the sizes of the bathtub and cover it. We, I cover the complete bathtub with my mosaic, but you can also use different materials. You can select in between 450, more than 450,000 materials. Actually, to make it easier, I only use this mosaic and I'm covering the complete surfaces of my bathtub, you see? Let's go over also the bottom floor. Last one. And it's done. So I've covered my bathtub with a mosaic. You see? Now I would like to fill the bathtub with water to make a rendering, to make a more realistic rendering. So let's select the function tab place objects. Here we have our bathtub. Now I want to fill the basin of my bathtub with water. So I click on this yellow button add model and load from 3D warehouse. Here I go directly to the 3D warehouse of Trimble SketchUp where I find millions of items millions of 3D elements available and ready to be applied to my project. I write water cube and automatically I get a selection of many simple water cubes ready to be used on my project. I select one of these, for example this one, and automatically I import it in my project. Now I drop and drag the object into my design. As you can see, the water cube is too big. The water cube needs to be the same size of my basin. So let's move back to create room and check the sizes of my basin. My basin is 80 cm by 180. 180 cm wide by 80 cm deep. So let's move back to place object and modify the sizes of my water cube. I click on the pencil to edit the sizes of my water cube. Here I have the, the, the sizes and I change it. I put 180 by 80. These are the sizes, width and depth. And the height of my water cube, that means the depth of my water can be 60 centimeter. Apply. Now the water cube is ready to be fitted, to be placed into my bathtub. So let's place the water into the bath. Okay, it's done. I always remind you for having all this function, for checking, please go to our website and uh, to our YouTube channel where you can find all the video tutorials. All the video tutorials for all the functions. They explain how to proceed with rendering, with uh, placing objects and so on. Now the bathtub is ready. Let's change the view. The bathtub is ready and the water is inside. You see? We can proceed with rendering. Let's move to render. You see? You have the bathtub, the water, and now you can proceed with rendering. Let's create a camera. Select and go on by rendering. 
Okay, that's all for the moment. I hope it has been useful. See you soon in Thailook.